In Baxter, there is a company of only seven women that create unique hand-dyed fabrics. St Cherry Wood Hand Dyed Fabrics was established 32 years ago in the owner's house and has since grown into selling fabrics to crafters all over the world. With this week's In Business, Rachel Johnson has more. Washing machines were hard at work at Cherry Wood Hand Dyed Fabrics in Baxter on Wednesday morning. Cherrywood is a unique business that hand dyes fabric sold to crafters all across the world. We hand dye fabric here. We start out with white and we dye all sorts of colors in solid colors. Cherrywood was founded over 30 years ago by a woman who for the first 20 years worked from her house. She soon outgrew that and her kids were getting sick of having spots on their clothing. <laughs> so she purchased another house to work out of and hired help. I came on board in 2000 and now I'm the sole owner. It has since grown to supply and trade shows every month out of the year and has taken owner Carla Overland to Australia, France, and even Dubai. We've had the exhibit from um, every, almost every state just about, um, and it's fun to work with all the people and set up book signing tours and stuff. What makes Cherrywood Fabric unique is its texture. The suede is what really makes it unique. It's uh, interesting that it looks sometimes like wool, sometimes like uh, felt, sometimes even like worn leather depending on the design that you do. Cherrywood uses unbleached muslin fabric and the dyeing process takes about five hours. When it arrives and rolls, it is first cut into smaller pieces. After the fabric is cut, it is washed before going through the dyeing process and then washed several times again before being prepared for sale and shipments. Each color is mixed up and put in the washing machines and um, I have a dye room here where I'm doing all my magical mixing and adding special ingredients and um, that's a very tightly held secret. For the owner and employees at Cherrywood, quilting and fabric is not just a job, but a passion. You're taking fabric and cutting up into small pieces and then sewing it back together. But in that process, you are designing and you are putting creativity into it. Overland says the quilting community and working in the industry has been very rewarding. It's a unique industry. It's a very large industry. There's um, quilters everywhere. It's, it also is a sense of community. Um, quilters often quilt together, they go to retreats together and they may not get much done because they're all talking and getting to know each other, but by the time you're done you have new friends that last forever. Reporting from Baxter with this week's In Business, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. Every year Cherrywood hosts a contest called the Cherrywood Challenge for quilters using one select color and a theme to create a piece. For more information visit this story on our website at lptv.org. Submissions are due July 1st. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.